Hello friends, this is Sharmi, the amateur gardener. I'm back again. Uh, today I'm going to talk, make a short video about the camellias I have. Um, I'm in the south, in the Houston suburb, uh, and I got questions about in, in the, can, we, can we grow camellias in the south, in the Texas, in the Houston area. A lot of people had said no, they don't like it. In my experience, I love camellias. Uh, when I have, was living in California, we had huge Japonica cam camellias that were planted by some owner that lived before us. And it used to flower profusely for like up to two to three months in the spring. And I just loved it. And it, there were huge camellias. I don't know the variety, but I don't know. It was probably some old fashioned camellia that was there for like years. Those plants were like at least eight to 10 feet long, tall and um, eight to 10 feet tall and um, just endless flowers in the spring. But that's where my love for camellia started and I started growing them here. So far, I've had decent luck with them. It really depends on where you put your camellias. I have several here in my garden. Some of them have been there for like a uh, couple of years. Um, I did manage to kill one because I'm pretty sure I put it in the wrong spot. But if you can put the camellias in a good amount of uh, shade in Houston with some morning sun, I think they'll do pretty well. So this is uh, this is the Shishigashira. This one gets a lot of um, shade. Um, it sheds shade, shade from the structure behind it. It gets uh, shade from the plum tree next to it. So, but it does get a fair amount of morning sun. In the winter, it gets quite a bit of sun because the trees have no leaves. But in the morning hours and the afternoon is shaded by the structure itself. Now, over here, next to this big daddy hydrangea that I planted here, I have another camellia. This one is a winter, let me check, winter star. Um, this one should also do fairly well here. This one also needs uh, mostly shade, uh, partial shade to shade, and this area should do well um, for a camellia here. This one will be in uh, some morning sun from here, but from this some morning sun from uh, this side, but the this side it has this huge uh, dub, uh, two in one tree, the plum and apricot tree, and that will be shading it from the hot afternoon sun. We do get humid here in Houston, but you can't do anything about it. But I'm trying my best to keep my camellias happy in places um, that have more shade without scorching them this is my third camellia this is the i think it's jury's yellow this is a white camellia with a yellow center this area gets about maybe three hours of sun uh, during the summer uh, because all these trees grow up um, and there's the there are two houses on each side so it does get quite a bit of shade so it's in shade till like maybe uh, 11 o'clock and then from 11 to maybe two ish it gets some sun and that's bright sun and then after 2 to 30 it's in the shade again so uh, and then that was my camellia number three i have a camellia number four here that gets shade up until this spot. You see, I have one stick that's dead there. I don't know whether it died from the summer heat or from the winter, but I think that died from a little bit of extra sun because this tree shades only up till this leaf, where this leaf is, and it's doing okay there. So I'm hoping this is going to do okay because I'm not cutting back this uh, crepe myrtle anymore for the last three years now. So it, I'm expecting it to the canopy to grow and this area to get more shade as years go by. This one is doing awesome next door, which is the Kramer's Supreme. It's a red, bright red camellia. 
I think the this one is a snow chan, so white with the red next door will look nice. Uh, it's a nice contrast. So this one is doing super happy, and this one is gets a way more shade than the other one. Now that said, when I said shade, it's in Houston, so it does get like oblique sun quite a bit, but it still gets the shade of this crepe myrtle tree. This is another camellia. This one get, is gets some sun. But then uh, this uh, um, red bud tree does give it some shade. So I think this flower is okay. This is also uh, Sisenqua. Camellias uh, grow best in uh, somewhat acidic soil. Uh, typically like a pH of somewhere between like 5.5 to 6.5. That said, in the Houston area, the pH is neutral to slightly alkaline, probably like 7 to 7.5. Um, but uh, it also likes well-drained and somewhat moist soil. Uh, one way to uh, lower the pH of your soil is to add a good amount of organic material like compost, which you can do probably once a year. There are soil acidifiers available that you may use or may not use, but I think a good amount of compost will uh, lower the pH to a less, some extent. Um, I usually fertilize all my plants, including camellias, once a year. Um, that usually during like um, late February um, but and that is usually sufficient to keep them going. Then I have two more camellias, one's here. I think that's October Magic. One of them is October Magic and another one that's there in the middle. And these are both Sisinquas. They already finished their blooming. I cut it a little bit back but hopefully both will do okay. And these, this area is mostly in full sun, but now over the years, this, the canopy of this um, tree gives it a lot of shade. And I do plant a lot of mahogany splendor hibiscus. You can see the stem sticking out. I'll be cutting them back and planting some more this year. I planted some last year and I love it. The canopy looks like, um, like a Japanese maple, but like a red Japanese maple, but it um, creates a lot of uh, like a nice respite from direct sun here. Otherwise, this area is like 100% in full sun. Okay, so this is another camellia that I wanted to show you. Uh, you can see it in my backdrop. I'm going to switch the camera a little bit so that you can see it um, and take it a little closer. But this is uh, Camellia Gun and I think it's Gun and Smoke. I got it from MrMaple.com. And I got it like I think about three years ago. And I've got it like a little single stick. But it has grown quite a bit since then. And uh, you can see uh, that it's now in like full bloom. The blooms are really large. This is one of the Camellias with the very large blooms. Um, bright pink in color. Very typical Japonicas. Um, and I uh, wanted to share with you that um, this one does really well in my weather uh, here. I have put it in a little bit of morning sun, but it gets afternoon shade largely from uh, the hibiscus that's here. Uh, the sticks that you see here are from that hibiscus. It's like a six, seven year old hibiscus that I have here um, that I cut back and that grows really huge, large and tall and casts a lot of shade for the camellia and even the hydrangeas that are in the bed from the afternoon sun. Okay. Here's a look at that camellia. Let me zoom into it. Pretty large blooms and the leaves are actually quite large. So that gives you an estimate of what the bloom size is. So those are my nine camellias that I have uh, in my garden. Um, some of them are doing much better than the others. Um, I think the couple that are not doing as great, uh, they are getting way more shade than they should. But otherwise, I think they should do better. So I'm going to, you know, try to address those issues. But I think that are getting the ones that are getting an optimal amount of sun like about at least three to four hours of sun and uh, shade or partial shade the rest of the uh, time, it is doing way better and it bloomed a lot nicer. Okay, so I'll keep posting updates the, as the years go by about how these are doing. Uh, but I think you, I'm pretty sure you can do it here, but 
uh, your microclimate where you're putting the plant in matters way more. You may want to put the plant right where you are able to see it every day, but that, that may not be the best site for the plant. It's not like, uh, this is what I have learned in my experience. It's not about where you want to put the plant, but it's where the plant wants to be. You should think about what, uh, what it what environment is best for the plant and then consider the particular site you're going to plant and whether it is conducive for that plant to flourish so uh, put it in an area that gets uh, if you're in houston put it in an area or even like anywhere in texas put it in an area that gets more shade during especially during the hot sun um, or even if it gets some sun it should be not more than some of those direct afternoon sun, it shouldn't be more than one to two hours. But that said, I would still put it in like area that gets either early morning sun or, you know, filtered sun at best. Um, and it'll grow well. It'll grow well. It flowered for me uh, this year. It is uh, for our, the amount of cold that we get, it is, it is fine. It is going to come back fine. You don't have to cover it. Um, any open blooms may perish but in a cold, but there will be lots of buds and you'll get it i mean i've seen people in zone <coughs> seven zone eight that they don't cover camellias and i don't think we need to uh in our zone as well okay so i hope uh, you found this uh, information kind of useful for growing camellias in the south uh, in the houston area at least and if you did uh please like and subscribe my video otherwise i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.